Lord, I beg leave to ask the question standing in my name on the order paper and declare an interest as a Vice President of the National Autistic Society, an honour I share with my noble friend, Baroness Browning, who unfortunately cannot be with us today. I'm Don Tuig. I'm a Labour member of the House of Lords, and for the last ten years or so, I've been working on supporting people with learning difficulties and autism in particular. Uh, I'm concerned about the problems that we've got with youngsters who are autistic being excluded from school. 130,000 autistic youngsters are educated in mainstream schools and according to figures from the noble lady's own department they're twice as likely as non-special need children to be excluded from school. What's worse, a report by Ambitious from Autism revealed that over half the exclusions are unofficial or unlawful. The Autism Centre for Education Research at Birmingham University has produced this excellent report on these matters and the authors were due to meet officials from the Minister's department but unfortunately the meeting has not yet taken place. So can I ask her, will she personally intervene to ensure that this meeting does take place? It will make a difference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. And I asked the Minister last week if she would facilitate this, she says she will and I'm very pleased about that because I think there's a lot that together we could do their research, the government and the rest of us perhaps pushing from the sidelines to try and make a difference here and change this policy. Um, of course I'd be delighted to go back to the department and talk to uh, my ministerial colleagues to make sure uh, that the uh, meeting does take place and I absolutely hear his concerns in relation to exclusions. He'll be aware that the department updated our behaviour guidance uh, last summer and stressed the importance of anticipating triggers of uh, behaviour for children with special uh, educational needs, including autism, and making sure that there was provision available for them. I was pleased that the Minister said that she would look at this, and I, I, I have every faith that she will do this. If she will now, as she promises, push ahead and get that meeting sorted out. I think collaboration between, the, 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 it's, it's a world-renowned facility up at Birmingham, between them and the government, we can start to make a difference here. Well, there's been a 59% increase in the number of autistic students children in particular, excluded from school between 2011 and 2016. Every English region has now increased, some, in some areas of England, it's increased by 100%. Now, the report that uh, the team at Birmingham produced gave a number of suggestions. Uh, we should have provide national individual guidance to school on exclusion policy. Create good practice guidelines. Make it a legal requirement for schools to use a specific code to exclude a child. Provide clear guidance for the leaders, heads of schools. And, of course, what's important, introduce a greater independent monitoring so the illegal exclusions cannot take place and there's a proper procedure. That's the way, I think, to go ahead. The report, if they, if they get a chance now to discuss it with officials of the Department of Education, could help formulate government policy and let's say how we can do this better and make a difference in the life of an autistic person. This can have a lifelong impact and I, I saw a story recently in my local paper where a young child uh, was excluded from school, a local school in my area, and the, the mother says every time there's an issue he gets picked out, you're the cause of it, because he does have behavioural issues caused by his autism. Now with the right support and right understanding the school will provide better. The risk of nothing is done is that more and more young people who are autistic will feel excluded, uh, their lives will be do vastly different. I mean, I, I met a young autistic ma boy a, a while ago. He's been on the Victoria Derbyshire show. He started, uh, is now an amateur actor. He's a computer programmer, all because he had the right support, family and school at that age. And we can make a difference to young people. Uh, uh, there's no reason, and I, I've said this often in the chamber, why do we think that people who are uh, on the autistic spectrum, why can't they have the, enjoy the quality of life that we enjoy? They should, and that means we've got to go that extra mile to make sure that they do. It's not rocket science.